Here we come, one human family. Here we are, one human family. Hi, one human family. Happy Fantastic Friday. Bunka, bunka, bunka. Happy Fantastic Friday. Happy Fantastic Friday. Can you say Fantastic Friday? Can you say Fantastic Friday? Can you say Fantastic Friday? Can you say? Fantastic Friday. I didn't hear you. Can you say one? Can you say one more time? Fantastic Friday. I heard you. I heard you. I heard you. Good job. It is Fantastic Friday. Ladies and gentlemen, Mike Mongo, pa 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 pow. That's me. Oh, you know what I forgot? I forgot. Today, 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 today. Today is Fantastic Friday. You know what I forgot? I'll be right back. Hold that thought. Here I come. One human family to the world. One human family. My goodness. Not complete until we're complete. That's how that works. You know, in the... And it, so many different places have I learned to get the finishing touches just right. And uh, I had a great mom who helped me with that. She taught me how to handle the sleeves on my shirts. Those were tricky when I was you. And I had a lot of good, a lot of good guys in my life teach me how to tie ties. I, I can do that sometimes. We'll, do, we'll tie a tie sometimes. It's fun, to, it's fun to learn how to do that. I don't know that we're gonna need to use ties a lot in space. Can you imagine having a tie in space? How come we haven't seen an astronaut wear a tie in space? I think that would be hilarious. You could, you could, you could, we could actually make really cool ties that move all on their own in space. That would be amazing, right? <laughs> I never thought about it until right now. We just did that together. So, you know, uh, so so much has gone on since 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 last we spoke. There was Wednesday afternoon, there was Thursday, and then there was Friday morning. That's today. Look, check it out. Fresh made bed, popo -po pal. I hope you I hope you remembered how to do that. That's a great that's a great skill. Learning how to make your bed. We we practiced that last week. Oh, let's get this battery. We sure did. We practiced that last week. And it's funny because all kinds of different, all the students that ask me, how do I, get, how can I be an astronaut? And it's all these different life skills that make a difference. Politeness is really probably one of the top 10, maybe top five ways to make sure, like there's things, there's checklists. We need to be an astronaut. Here, I'll show you. Check it out. Check it out. Say what, say what, check it out, say what. It is certainly Fantastic Friday. Welcome to the show, Gimbal. Oh yeah, don't forget, subscribe. If you haven't pressed subscribe, press the subscribe button. Subscribe, subscribe. Don't forget, subscribe. And then there's a little bell right next to it if you wanna be notified that, that we're live. Pa pa pa. All right, so check it out. Let's see, off the top of my head, stuff that I know all the time, automatically. Let's see, I moved the desk a little bit. This amazing cardboard de desk that we built together. I don't know if you remember doing that. That was fun. Watch this. You ready? 
Here. That's a black one. Let's use a, uh, what color we're gonna use? Red. Love, love, how? Two. You know, I use a capital T right here because I'm writing it. I'm not writing a sentence, I'm writing a title. How to be an, not a astronaut, an astronaut. Because it starts with a vowel right here, so it's an astronaut. If it was how to be a plumber, it would be how to be a plumber. If it's an, a vowel, it starts with a vowel, it's how to be an astronaut. A E I O U. Anytime you see this letter, the article before it is either an, it's an and. It could be how to be an elephant, how to be an umbrella, how to be an ostrich, how to be an intelligent person, I. How to be a, a, E. A is for astronaut, E is for elephant, I is for intelligent person. O is for ostrich, U is for umbrella, sometimes Y. How to be, Y is gonna start with an A, so how to be, how to be a, a yellow, that would be A yellow, but how to be an astro, not. You with me? You still with me? You with me so far? Are we together in this? How to be an astronaut? You ready? Let's just, let's, let, like sometimes when I number things, I do it like this, one, 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 okay? So there's gonna be five. One, two, three, four, five. First one, we'll switch colors. Let's just say it. Let's call it like, call it like, like it is. B, and now this is a sentence, so I'm not capitalizing the next word, polite. Be polite. Polite, we all know what polite means, right? Yes, please, thank you, no sir, yes sir, no ma'am, yes ma'am. May I? Those, oh, those are all polite. Polite super matters. And like how to be an astronaut, I, so okay, for the record, astronauts are polite, no question. Let, let's, let's, let's just knock this out right here. Astronauts, 100%. Anything that you wanna do, people are always tracking us. Anything that we wanna do, people are always tracking us. So they see how we interact with them or with others. And so if we, if, if we wanna be an astronaut, especially if we wanna be a kid astronaut, I guarantee you that there are no kid astronauts who are rude. No kid astronauts are rude. It just is the way. And rude isn't a way of being, it's just a way of behaving. So we don't, we're not, we don't, we aren't actually polite. We behave politely or we behave impolitely. Those are the opportunities. And when we behave politely, grownups and, and people around us notice and then they open doors for us. I certainly do. When I see someone who's polite, it makes me pay attention. That's not it. Because being polite and that's it, not handling responsibilities, that's not enough. But it starts with polite. Opening doors for people. I think that's a super cool thing to do. Like, I love doing that. I did that. I was famous for it when I was you. Let's see. We hit it there. How to be polite. How to, how to be an astronaut. Be polite. What else? What else do we got here? Oh, right. <clears throat> Coffee your sleeve. Be polite. Um, this one is super important. Look, I'm putting it as, as the second one, but I'm, they're all listed number one. This is as important as the first one. That's why I listed them all. There's five of them, but I'm listing them all, giving them they're all number ones. Woo. This is massively important. Be helpful. Wow, all these students who ask me how I can be an astronaut, I wonder if I ask their parents if they help at the dinner table, if they help set up breakfast, if they help get their clothes together to go to school. I wonder if they're, if, if, I wonder if your parents are going to give me the right answers. A lot of times they do. A lot of times parents will tell me this person is so helpful. Like, uh, so I, like I got a bunch of, I got a bunch of kids. I just do. And, uh, and, and so one of them is Ravon Jones. Ravon is one of the most helpful human beings. I've talked about him before. Ravon it's helpful. It's crazy. He runs to help other people. 
Like, so he's got be helpful crossed off the list. Since he was you, when he was eight, nine, 10, people would just call down the street. They would yell, grown ups, Ravon! And he would come running to help, to help, not to go play, not to go. And you know what? This opened up doors for him. Grown ups started to see, oh, this is a helpful person. He didn't have to be convinced to be helpful. He came that way. Like he decided, he saw somewhere along the way that being helpful was going to open up all the doors. That it makes the world a better place. Oh, you want to make the world a better place? Simple, everybody, everybody. This is for grownups, this is for kids. Want to make the world a better place? Be helpful. Wow. Remember the question we're supposed to be? Am I, how, how am I helping? That's the question that we're always going to be having in our, it's going to be our formula in our head. We want to be astronauts. We want to live, work, and play in space. How to be helpful. Got it? So how to be an astronaut? Be helpful. No question, obviously. If we're asking ourselves all the time, how am, I, how am I helping? Then we get to realize being helpful is essential. Be polite. Be helpful. Here's a good one. I love this one. So nice. Wow. Gosh, this is a good one. This next one. This is a great one. Whoa, that's black. I'm still using blue. Here it is. Wow. B. I wonder if you can guess what it is. It's this word. Friendly. Be friendly. Gosh. I love friendly people. Be friends. You know, I am about no runs, no drips, no errors. I learned that with my friend Shepard Ferry. Be friendly. And then these are all sentences because they're statements. Be polite, be helpful, be friendly. So I put a, a, a period after each one. Be polite, be helpful, be friendly. People ask me all the time how to be an astronaut. Look, if we don't have these bases covered, if we don't have this covered, we're not going to get to the next level. We, these are the basics. These are like... Like I did, I did a talk, um, very famous talk at SEDS, uh, the Students for Exploration and Development for, of Space. Students for the Exploration and Development of Space. I did a talk at Space Vision and, I, and the talk was this. How to get hired in aerospace. How to get a job in aerospace. This is how to, be, how to get a space job. And I'm doing this with college students who are graduating and are getting ready to go get jobs. And the very first thing on my list of 10 things was floss your teeth, floss, flossing. Because food get caught, gets caught in our teeth and it changes our breath. Sometimes we get what I call dragon breath. <laughs> so, so when we get dragon breath, it's important to brush our teeth. That's why we brush our teeth before we go, before we, before, before, when, after we wake up and before we go to bed. Wake up, brush our teeth. Go to bed, brush, before we go to bed, brush our teeth. So brush our teeth twice a day, at least. Sometimes after lunch, but you know, whatever. Like it, 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 when I was you, I understand how hard it is to brush your teeth. I get it, trust me, I do. I was you, I was there. It was a drag. And then I practiced it. One time I brushed my teeth so much that the enamel, enamel came off. And I showed my mom and she said, I said, mom, look, my teeth are so white. And she was shocked, she was like, what are you doing? That's the enamel on your teeth. Don't brush that much. Okay. And because I was you, because our, our, my teeth were still developing, it was okay. Now, these are my teeth. And, and we want them our whole life. We want it. People, you ask people who have lost their teeth, like uh, sometimes when we're older, we lose our teeth and people miss their teeth. We have these things called dentures. Dentures are fake teeth. They're, they're artificial teeth and they allow people without teeth to eat well. And they look great and they look good too. They usually look pretty good. So sometimes, and sometimes you ever met anybody or maybe you're a person who's had a tooth knocked out and had a, a fake tooth put in? That happens too. It's pretty amazing. Like it's, it's kind of cool that we can do this stuff. So it's important to take care of our teeth. Very important. It's fun to have teeth. So brushing our teeth is important. And it's not just about the health of the teeth, it's the health of our mouth. And if we don't brush our teeth, then we, our breath smells. And when we're introducing ourselves to somebody, hi, 
My name is Hannah Handshake, and I'm here to help. Hi, my name is Harry Handshake, and I'm here to help. Hi, my name is Horatio Handshake, and I'm here to help. See, all that breath, I hope that breath is good breath, minty fresh. Otherwise, that person is going to know me for a whole different reason. A reason that maybe I don't want to be known for. Brush your teeth. Oh, there we go. There's, there's another one on the list. Be polite, be helpful, be friendly. Oh, this is a good one. Oops. Number four. Oh. Huh, how do I say this? Well, I'll just say it like this. Be clean. I was gonna say hygiene. Be clean. Be clean. And not just neat. Clean. Be clean. Not, not you know, like, I, I, I'm a busy person. Look, sometimes stuff gets messy. Check it out. Look, even my stuff down here is a little messy right now. That's a little messy if you ask me. That's for me, that's a little messy. Okay? I keep stuff stacked nice and neat. That's, I, I like to, I, I get to use my knees. I get to go up and I get to come down. And since I'm 55, bending down and picking stuff up, that's, that's, that, that keeps my knees healthy. And I like that. Okay? So, um, that's not the kind of clean I'm talking about. The kind of clean is before, before I do the show, I, I sweep the room. I sweep and make sure that any of the dust bunnies that show up, the little piles of dust called dust bunnies, I get them all together and then I put them out the door. And that's, that's cleaning. Um, I, I make sure that like, since I'm a grown up, I get to clean my own bathroom. So I make sure the seat, the sink, the seat is clean. You know, sometimes, sometimes uh, when we, when we use the bathroom, that's really important to make sure that the, the, the uh, that when that it's clean for the next person that comes in there, that's important. And then after we make sure that it's clean for the next person that comes in there, we get to wash our hands and make sure that we're clean. That's important. Washing our hands, especially nowadays, because it's, it's pandemic, right? That's why this whole show is here, because of the quarantine. S quarantine is space mission training. So we get to learn all this stuff. Because of quarantine, that's what opened up this conversation between you and me. So one of the things, one of the things we learned was that we, the importance of washing our hands. Did we do any breathing today? Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. See, I brushed my teeth. Breathe in. Hold it. Breathe out. Changes everything when we do some breathing. So I get talking so fast and so much I forget to breathe. And then I got to stop and take a big breath in through my nose. When we, use the, when we use the bathroom, when we go outside, when we come back in, before we, get, before we eat food, if we're, if we're shaking hands or touching anything else, it's good to wash our hands. That's being clean. That's good hygiene. It's not just about neat. It's not just the appearance of... Like if you, get, if you get something dirty on your hands and you wipe it off and it doesn't look like it's there, it could still be there. That's why we wash our hands. Like that's it's pretty simple stuff. Um, washing my hair. You know, when I was you, I didn't want to wash my hair every day. Um, and then I realized, oh wow, I look a lot better when my hair is washed. Wow. And that first appearance makes a big difference. Simple, really simple. And then sometimes, you know, <laughs> Being clean, taking baths, taking baths and showers regularly, like once a day, it's totally cool. When you're, when you're young, when you're you, you don't really smell as bad. Sometimes, sometimes you do. Sometimes you do. And then when you get older, our bodies start to change. We produce different chemi chemicals. Our, our body chemistry changes because the machine, the robot that we live in, it changes. And so it's important then the oils on our skin, like even the, like the reflection, that's not just, that's not sweat, that's the oil on my skin that's 
keeps my skin healthy. Skin is uh, the largest organ on the human body. It covers our whole, whole body and it protects us. So keeping it clean and in good shape, I always remind my son, Raphael, put lotion on, man, put lotion on. I put, put, put lotion on so his skin doesn't get dry. So it stays, so it stays healthy and, and in good condition. And that's part of being clean as well. Keeping, keeping like uh, brushing our teeth is not just about the breath, it's about cavities. Like these are simple things and they're little things and you probably hear them a lot. It's because you didn't come with this information. So as a grown up, it's my job to give you this information in the same way that it was given to me. And if someone hasn't given you any information, it's my job to give it to you in the same way that some things weren't given to me. One of the things my mom taught me about, it was so awesome, is my mom taught me the importance of which fork, which spoon, and which knife to use. And, and that helped me a lot in life when I'm at a very nice restaurant or if I'm at someone's home and I know which, which fork, like we have different forks in front. It's called a place setting. And so these, these are, uh, oh, it reminds me of the fifth thing. <laughs> this is great. I'm glad, you, I'm glad we got to talk about this today. The fifth. Uh, let's see. So, one, two, three, four, five. All right. This is like that. This is. And it's also like the, it's also like all, it's all like all of them. You'll never guess this one. I can say be good, be, be, I'm going to say well, be well. Manner. I could just say be well. I'm going to say be well man. Practicing manners, mannered. Practicing, practicing manners. Wow. Manners are something that we learn all whole, our whole life. Good manners is not just being polite. It is also being helpful and friendly and clean. Be well mannered. Have your manners in good condition. Manners are self-control in a way. Self-discipline, that's another good way to put it, is having self-discipline. Uh, for instance, if there's one cookie left, and so, or if everybody hasn't had a cookie yet, and we want to have another cookie, because we're well-mannered, we know to wait. No matter how bad we want that cookie, if we have, if there's a plate of cookies and we've had one and not everybody has had one, we get to wait till everybody has had a cookie. That's well-mannered. It takes a lifetime. I, were, were, I was thinking about this because of the, which fork to use. That, those are, those are, that's called etiquette. That's a whole nother thing. But it's also part of well-mannered. Well-mannered is when you, when you're, you'll get to do an interview to go to college. You'll have a college interview a lot of times. Maybe it'll change in the future. Who knows? So, but a lot of colleges have, have an interview. And so when you're doing an interview, having the right manners helps out a lot. Um, letting someone walk ahead of you, not walking in front of people. And in, in, uh, giving people proper respect. Um, when somebody is older than us and we, and we don't interrupt them when we're talking very older people, people older than me, will notice that and they will say, my, what a well-mannered young person. That, they will say that. It's amazing when that's you being well-mannered. When you hold the door for somebody, ooh, this gives me chills just thinking about it. When you don't race in front of an older person who is slower, a person older than me, like people or, or, or a person who needs help, when you help, it, it makes me feel good. When you help another person, it makes me feel good. 
When you help somebody else, it makes me feel good. Imagine how it makes the people who love you feel, the people in your life, the other people who love you, because I love you. Imagine how it makes all the people who love you feel when you're well-mannered. It makes us feel proud. It makes us feel honored. It makes us feel like you care, like the investment that we've put into you matters to you. And so when you're well-mannered, it reflects on me. It reflects on your parents, your grandparents, your aunts, your uncles, the people in your life who have invested in you. When, when we are well-mannered, it reflects, it shows our upbringing, how we were, how we were raised. And not just that, how, how we choose to be. Because I didn't know all the manners I needed growing up. But I knew that I, want, I, like, I like helping people and I knew what I wanted to do. So with those two ideas, I went and learned how to be the best person I can. And that included manners. Manners are super important. So isn't it funny? Look, look, we're talking about going to space, which is a lot of science, a lot of engineering, a lot of, like definitely some math, like probably a lot of math. Like it just depends on the kind of math you're doing. And, and it doesn't really specifically say in how to be an astronaut. Students ask me all the time, have you got these knocked out? Have you got polite, helpful, friendly, clean, clean and well-mannered? Polite, helpful, friendly, clean, and well-mannered knocked out? Polite, helpful, friendly, clean, and well-mannered. Have you got those knocked out? If you want to be an astronaut, this is the way to do it. This is the way to do it. There are no shortcuts. We do not get to do the things we want to do if we don't achieve these things. There are people who have special talents and abilities who are geniuses in ways that is even different than me. Different than you. Different than both of us. Or maybe you're one of them. Or maybe you're one of us. How about that? And people don't open the door to us for opportunities unless we're, unless we're these things. Polite, helpful, friendly, clean, and well-mannered. And we get to remind ourselves all the time, don't get stressed if you get something wrong. You are a student, a young person, and you, this is the time where you learn how to do it right and, and how to do it wrong and why we don't do it wrong. A lot of the jobs that I've done in my life, I did so that I figure out that that's not what I want to do. When I was in the army, being in the army is how I learned I didn't want to be in the army. Working, at, working, delivering packages was how I learned I didn't want to do that. But I loved doing that and I loved learning it. I loved, I loved learning that I didn't want to be in the army. I loved going to the army. I loved going through it. And then I discovered that this is not for me. I loved, loved getting up at two o'clock in the morning to go to the package trucks, to put packages in the trucks and getting paid a good sum of money when I was young to do that and learning that I don't want to do that anymore. It's as important to learn what we don't want to do as it is to learn what we want to do. It is as important to learn what we don't want to do as it is to learn what we want to do. Got it? Is that a yes? If that's a yes, wave. Okay. Got it. All right, cool. So, how to be an astronaut. Be polite, be helpful, be friendly, be clean, and be well-mannered. Those are the five things you've got to get out of the way first before. You've got to get those out of the way to pass go. To get further, you have, we get to get these out of the way. And then you get to go where you want to go. You know what today is? It is Fantastic Friday, and my goodness, do I have something cool. Okay, I don't know if you remember. Do you remember when we talked about space plants you remember when we talked about space plants and I took seeds from blackberries that I got from the store had in the fridge was eating pulled out the blackberry seeds put on a napkin dried out for a few days put into a ziploc bag added water and then sealed and then dated and we did it right here do you remember that Exactly. Well, look what happened. Look what we have here. See those blackberry seeds? See the roots? 
Let's see, let's go this way. Can you see the roots? Mm -hmm. Can you see all those roots? Look, you can see them really clear. These are blackberry seeds. These are our space blackberries. This is how you would do it on a space mission. We're, we germinated the seeds. And you know what we're gonna do today with our space blackberries? Just like you can do at home? I got these seeds from food. And, I, and now they're alive. We are gonna plant our space blackberry seeds. I've never grown blackberries before. And I got all this stuff to do it. You ready? It's Fantastic Friday. Why not? Okay, check it out. So first of all, let's, let's, uh, let's, this is our work area. This tape, remember this tape? This is the size of the Apollo space mission. The, excuse me, the, the, uh, the lunar lander, the size of the spaceship, not even the lunar lander, the whole spaceship. This is the, this was the size of the spaceship that three people went to the moon in and spent three days in. Remember that? So this is my work area. And since this is, this is a, this is the work area. I'm gonna make it, cause be clean, remember? So watch this. This over here, check this out. Paka paka. Paka paka. This is our recycling area. This is where we get our work stuff from. Oh, this is this is a mate. This is perfect. We can this is a planter. It was a cardboard box and now it's a planter. Perfect. We can plant our seeds, our blackberry, our space blackberry seeds. There's our desk. That we made together. Buck -a -buck. Okay. Cool. So check this out. Let's see. Let's see if I can. The best buck -a -buck. Cool. Nice. Now, how are we going to turn this up? Ooh, 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 ooh. Careful. Oh, I need a pair of scissors. Okay. So first of all, put these to the side. I'm in Los Angeles, so I got a Trader Joe's bag. And I'm gonna make a work area. Using a paper bag to make a work area is a great idea because you can just wrap it up and throw it up, throw it away after you're done. Or, oh, there's even a receipt in there. Or you can um, use it again. Easy to do. Three cuts and I've got a work area. I think, oh, four cuts, one more. Right here, last one. Always gotta be careful with scissors, but I, they're not too sharp. I think it's important to be able to use scissors. If you can't, if you can't use scissors, you may you may have a challenge getting to space. So uh, if you, you may you may you may call somebody else to help you. And that's how you solve that challenge. Because we can't do anything by ourselves, really. 
the whole process, all of life is always a team effort. That's important. Cool, we're getting there. Let me put these up here. And look, there's our box. I'm super excited about that. And you know what else I could use? Something to scoop the soil with. I have some... <laughs> this wasn't a pair of shoes that I got. So this can be my scoop today. And my soil in the bag. I do not want to get it all over the place, so I keep it in the bag. Even though this is where I live, I want to keep it clean. Even though I'm the one responsible for cleaning up, I don't want anyone else, I don't want to have to clean up if I don't need to. So, there's our soil. This is so exciting. Got my scoop. You can see it's pretty dry. Soil is pretty dry, so we're gonna need that water for sure. And we don't need too much, too much soil. When we put water in, it's gonna go down a little bit. So I want about that much because I'm gonna put some more soil in and I wanna put the seeds in. Now the interesting thing about the seeds, get ready for this. All right, the seeds. So today is June 12th, and this was May 22nd. So that's 20 days ago. It took about three weeks. A week is seven days, and three times seven is 21. It took almost three weeks for these seeds to get like this. I, I kept them in the dark, and I always and I added a little water, a little water, along the way. So now we're opening it up. I didn't seal it. I, I didn't. I didn't keep. I didn't let it get hot, too hot, because then mold could grow, and you don't want that to happen on a spaceship because you're really in trouble then. So I keep it. I kept it a little cool, and I kept it in the dark. Kept. And then, it just happened. That's that's like a, it's like a miracle, really, how life just happens. And you, we're being careful because these are alive. They're alive. I wonder if we can even open up. I don't know that we can pull this apart. Maybe. Well, here's the thing. I don't want to pull it apart, and I'll tell you why. Because those roots are embedded in the in the napkin. The, the napkin became the medium for the roots. Oh, it's working. Okay, so see the roots? Look at that. Amazing, right? Wow. Okay. Cool. So, it looks like there's only seeds on one side. These are all just, there's no seeds right there. So, I'm going to get those scissors again. In this case, is that a seed right there? Let me see. Nope. Okay, so did I go right here? I've only got seeds on one side, which is very convenient. I got lucky. And I'm careful not to cut the roots. So I don't need that part. Put it on my workspace. And then I just put this right in here like that. Look at that. And then watch this. Okay, so now I'm already gonna add some water. And if I added too much, it's gonna go through because it's cardboard. So I'm, the cardboard can absorb some of the water and that's one of the reasons it's all right to have a cardboard container. Okay, and I'll move it around a little bit. Cool. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna put a little bit underneath there. And I'm gonna put a little bit underneath here. Nice. Then, use our scoop again, and gently add some more soil. Trying to keep it in the box, but I've got the work area underneath, so it's okay. And that's really enough. And so now, Keep my scoop on the work area and then add some more water. Not too much because there's already water in there. Now, 
I'm gonna check back in a couple days just because the dry box and the dry soil will, will, the water will spread around. It'll absorb into the dry and it'll need to be watered again shortly. So you know what I, you know what I need? I need a, um, here's my towel for my hands. Let me get a marker real quick. Let me put the date. is the date right here June 12th Friday June 12th that's that's a uh, Neil Armstrong by the way he was the first person to walk on the moon I love him so since we marked when we planted the seeds right here just like on a spaceship we would do this on the box I mean excuse me when we germinated the seeds put the date on here on the box we'll do the same thing today is Friday June twelfth. so we can keep track and now the box is a little heavier because the water's in there and like I said, I'll check back. I'll check back in a couple days to make sure that the, make sure that the, I'll check back probably tomorrow to make sure that there's enough water in there. And then I'll get an idea how much water. Sometimes I can have somebody help me. Like if I had to go somewhere, I would have somebody help me. Oh, see some of the water's already gone through. And that's why it's good that we had the, the workspace. It worked out perfectly. So now we have got space blackberries. Oh, you know what? Mike Mongo's Space Blackberries. Cool. That's how we did that. You can do this. You can do the same thing. Bucka bucka. Oh well. Wait. I better put this away <laughs> before I bucka bucka. Because what if I what if I'm walking around and I kick the dirt and it goes all over the place and then you'll be going on having the rest of the day having an adventure and I, on the other hand. I, on the other hand, would be here cleaning up, cleaning up the soil. <laughs> and I'd rather be using that soil for other space plants. So that is how that worked. Look, I'm super excited about this. This is really cool. Mike Mongo's Space Blackberries. We did this together. We grew these together. Well, we're growing them. We're growing them together. Yeah, I'll just put them over here on the shelf. And this is the snack shelf. So maybe one, day's, one day these will turn into snacks. We shall watch and see. Cool. And you know, I've actually have a couple napkins right here. Napkins have played a big important part of this whole role. Of this whole, uh, excuse me, of this whole, have played an important role in the, of this whole assignment. Napkins have been very helpful. So I'll put a napkin right here and I will put another napkin right here because I got it going on like that. Two napkins, pop, pop, pow. And then look at that. Ready to go. Mike Mongo Space Blackberries. Pop, pop, pow. How cool is that? We did that together. Fantastic Friday. Two Fantastic Fridays. Once we, one we planted, we uh, germinated the space plants and, an, and uh, on another one we, we planted space plants. <laughs> I'm, I'm super excited about that.
I don't know what this, what's going to happen from these plants. What is possible? Wow. And then this is how I want you to, because space botany, space hortic, hortic, horticulture is going to be a big deal. Space farmers is the coolest idea. Space farmers is pretty much one, one of my favorite ideas. Space farmers actually is more exciting to me than space miners. Like some people think that mining is cool, like digging asteroids out of gold and platinum, like that would be exciting to them. That does not excite me particularly. I mean, I have a little bit of jewelry. I don't have that much jewelry. Like I have this cool wristband. I got a, I got a watch. It's, that's made out of metal. You would get that off asteroid. I got this cool, this cool um, mem uh, memory bracelet right there. That's made out of metal. And that, you know, get that from that asteroid. However, I think it would be so fun to grow space plants. Like we couldn't do it exactly like that in space because the, the, uh, the water, if we poured it out, it would just t turn into a ball because it's, there's no gravity. And the, uh, the soil might even float around, so we couldn't do that either. So we, we ha there's all different kinds of solution solving, solution having, solution set creating that we do in space. There's all kinds of different ways to solve challenges in space. How would you solve planting and growing seeds in space? How would you solve that? Right? My goodness gracious. So um, my questions all this week definitely had to do with how to be an astronaut. So we already answered that. And what, 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 Oh, you know what? I did get a pack. Can I, can I share this package with you? I got a package in the mail. A friend sent it to me. Here, hold on. What? Mongo. There's my address. And look what they drew on the back. That's the human air symbol, heart wing star. Wow, isn't that awesome? They drew that on the package. You ready to see what's inside? I am. One of the clues is right here. One human family. O-H-F. That's one of the clues. Here we go. Ooh! Somebody sent me a t-shirt. I needed a t-shirt. Oh, I don't want to knock anything over. Stuff, it's really put in there. They put it in there smart. Ooh, look what I got. Somebody sent me a t-shirt, a friend. That says one human family. How awesome is that? That is beautiful. I'm super happy to have that. One human family, that's the song. Here we come, one human family to the moon, one. Oh, look at these. All people are created equal members of one human family. Wow. Wow. We should put that up. Where can we put that? <laughs> Isn't it great having new stuff? Stickers. Here, I know where to put it. Let's put it over here. Don't you think it will get up here? It'll remind us. All people are created equal members of one human family. Looks great there, doesn't it? Well, guess what? He sent me a whole bunch. <laughs> he sent me so many of these. Look, look at all the stickers I got. Look, <laughs> if you want a one human family sticker, you just message me. You can message me. You can go to the website. And uh, you can uh, you could uh, message me on Twitter. You can message me on Instagram, IG Mike Mongo Astronaut Teacher. You can uh, it's I'm easy to get a hold of. So if you want one of these stickers, just message me and I'll send you one. Cause I got a hundred. I think I have a hundred. There must be a hundred sticker. Look at all these stickers, and I will send you one. And I'll probably put a space sticker in there too. Look at these cool space stickers that I got. I got a lot of cool space stickers. This one's on Mars. Oh, space plants. Can you believe that sticker just showed up today? That's the kind of show this is. Magic happens all the time. What's magic? Surprise. Pa pa pow. All right. 
The one thing I didn't talk about today, and I haven't mentioned yet, is how much you mean to me. How much you mean to me. I get serious when I talk about it, right? But it's true. I get serious when I talk about it. You're awesome. When you're walking around and you're out in the world, I don't care if you're going on a trip. I don't care if you're traveling. I don't care if you're on vacation. I care if you're on vacation. I care if you're on a trip. I care if you're traveling. I want, and I care so much that I want you to have this idea in your head. Carry it with you wherever you are, especially if you're meeting new people. How am I helping? How am I helping? Got it? How am I helping? Carry this idea with you. Whatever journey you're on right now, this is our idea. This is what we're going to be working on from here on out for the rest of our time together. However that long, however that, however long that is. And maybe if we're lucky, it's going to be our whole life. And I'm going to get to watch you go to space as an astronaut, as a space explorer, as a human air, a person who lives, work and plays in space with the heart, wing and star logo. How am I helping? Keep that, in, keep that inside. Let that be our formula for success. How am I helping? You're amazing. You are amazing. I feel you right here, right now. I am so excited. I am so thrilled. I am so grateful. I am so honored to be part of your life. You're the absolute living best and I want you to surround yourself with people who, who share that exact same idea with you okay make sure that the people in your life are reminding you how awesome you are and if you're not being awesome then shift and remind yourself how awesome you are that's part of it too let's recap you're amazing you are, you are awesome. I know it because I am amazing and I am awesome. And it takes one to know one. I recognize you as amazing and awesome. You keep up the good work. How am I helping? I'll see you on Monday. Pow, pow, pow.